<laughs> the entire audience was laughing as my leotard ripped apart from the back. I'd forgotten to check the size when I was putting it on in the changing room, and apparently this one was too tight. I ran off the stage and went to the changing room. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this just happened. I was on the verge of tears. It's okay, Alicia. These things happen to all aspiring actresses once in a while. At the end of our play, no one will remember this little incident. Don't you worry. Miss William, you don't know teenagers nowadays. Someone probably took a video and it's definitely trending right now. There, there, why don't you ask your parents to take you home so you can take a break? I wasn't even sure whether they were in the audience. I took out my phone and called my mom. Hi, dear. Did you see what just happened? What are you talking about? You didn't come to my play? What play? The one I've been telling you about for months. I had a leading role, remember? You and dad aren't here? Sorry, we're with Daisy at an important photo shoot. I was so angry that I hung up. My parents treated my five-year-old sister like a princess and completely ignored me since the day she was born. I was totally sick of it. I was going to get back at them, all while totally ruining my little sister. Keep watching to see how. Alicia, I'm so sorry that your parents aren't here, but there are many people who support you, including me. You're one of my best students. I know you're just saying that to make me feel better. I don't even know why I was born. I became so emotional that I just ran straight out of the theater with tears in my eyes. I ran across the road thinking how perfect my life was until that brat Daisy was born. And I didn't see it coming until it hit me. I went flying into the air and then I totally blacked out. Woke up in a hospital bed surrounded by serious looking yeah. doctors and nurses. She's awake! Hi dear, your right leg is broken but you'll be okay. Why didn't you look before crossing the street? Um, I was hit by a car? Yes darling, we need to call your parents. Here, take my phone, their numbers are saved in there. I thought that maybe now, my parents would probably give me some attention, but they showed up in a few minutes looking annoyed. What sort of trouble have you gotten yourself into now? You interrupted a very important photo shoot. Mom! I just broke my leg because I was so sad that none of you came to support me. You don't care about me anymore. Just that stupid five-year-old child. What about me and what I want? You two honestly suck. You're the worst parents ever. I could tell they felt embarrassed while the doctors and nurses looked on curiously. Okay, dear, calm down. We're very sorry. How can we make it up to you? Let me quit high school and enroll me in an acting school right now. But what about SATs? Do you want to make it up to me or not? She talked it over with my dad and they agreed, but I didn't feel like I had won the battle just yet. I needed to make a plan so that they could see me as the perfect daughter and not Daisy. A few weeks passed and my leg healed. I went up to Daisy's room one night after dinner. Daisy, I have to have a little talk with you. What is it, big sister? You know that Santa and the Tooth Fairy are real, right? Yes, I will lose my first tooth soon and she's going to bring me lots of money. And I love Santa. Well, you know, I'm big, strong, and dangerous, right? Uh, yeah? I kidnapped Santa and the Tooth Fairy and I'm hiding them in a secret dungeon. If you don't do everything I tell you to do from now on, I'm going to kill them. She immediately burst into tears and she was crying so loudly that my mom began calling from downstairs. I told her we were just playing a game and then tried to get Daisy to shut up. Stop crying or I'll kill them right now. What do you want me to do? Well, first of all, you can't tell anyone what's going on. I want you to stop being nice. When mom and dad talk to you, just roll your eyes and don't reply. That's naughty. I know, but you want Santa to live. Anyway, next you're going to stop wearing all those cute little girly dresses. 
You're going to dress like a boy now, and you're going to wear a cap and big gold chain. Like a rapper. That part will be fun. I got you some clothes, but don't tell mom and dad where you got them. You also have to start swearing. I'm gonna teach you a few words. I made her repeat curse after curse until she could pronounce them properly. When I was satisfied with my work, I gave her a lollipop and a hug. Maybe you'll be able to save Santa after all. The next day, I pretended to have a fever so I could observe how Daisy interacted with my parents. She did just as I asked. Gosh, little kids are so stupid. My mom wanted to know where she got her hideous outfit from, but she rolled her eyes and refused to answer. Then my dad asked her why she wasn't being nice, and she let out a nice big swear word. They were shocked, and I'd never been happier. I always knew there was something wrong with that kid, and I think I know why. Don't talk like that, maybe it's just a phase. Well, aren't you going to deal with it? You're on time out, Daisy. She swore again, and I laughed so much I couldn't breathe. What did my dad mean, though? Throughout that week, I'd ask Daisy to do random, awful things and to make it seem like she did them on purpose. First, she poured grape juice all over mom's favorite white carpet. When my mom asked her why, she swore at her. You're on time out again, Miss Lady. I don't know what's gotten into you lately. Whatever, woman. What do you think a timeout is gonna do? She replied and walked back to her room. Get back here. I'm confiscating all of your toys, and if you don't watch it, I'm going to give them away to charity. Shut up! The next day, she ripped up some of the curtains in the house, and the day after that, she just broke random things. By Friday, my parents were considering taking her to a psychologist. But my plan was beginning to work because, for the first time in a long time, they began to treat me like I existed. They'd ask me questions about how things were going at my new school, and when I asked them to hook me up with some of their director friends so I could start getting some acting roles, they told me they'd get back to me soon. In about a month, I had a minor role in a movie. I was just the lead character's classmate, but I knew that greater things were to come. But I had to continue threatening Daisy because if she snapped back to her usual self, it'd be all over for me. Hey Daisy, Christmas is coming, so I'm gonna let Santa out for a little while, okay? I think you've been good, so you deserve your presents this year. Yay! The next morning, there were presents addressed to her from Santa. Daisy was so excited that day that I almost started to feel bad about what I was doing to her. But then I thought that she probably didn't feel bad when my parents missed my place, so I continued my plan. That night, after my parents were sleeping, I hid all her presents in the basement. Then I woke her up and told her to come downstairs with me. Where are my presents, Alicia? They were gone, but I saw this note from Santa. Here, I'll read it to you. Dear Daisy, I am only giving presents to bad children this year. If you throw garbage all over your house and make a big mess before tomorrow morning, I'll return your presents. Love, Santa. I told her she'd better hurry up and get back to work. Then I went back to my room, but not before turning the security cameras back on. The next morning, I woke up to a loud scream. What happened to our house? Did someone break in? I ran downstairs to find my mom standing in the middle of a pile of junk. Wow, mom, you should check the security camera footage. If it's a bad guy, maybe the police can find him. My mom and I went to the home office to view the footage, but just before Daisy's incident, we saw my dad enter the house. But he wasn't alone. We gasped. He had his arm around the waist of a really hot young woman. She was wearing a really tight dress which showed off her curves perfectly. The footage showed them entering the guest bedroom and leaving after about an hour. Wow. My husband. Don't freak out, Mom. Maybe it was just a business meeting. Business my foot. Harold, get down here! My dad came running down and I wasn't ready to deal with all the drama, so I left the room. They argued for a long time. Did I just ruin my parents' marriage? 
In the living room, Daisy was sitting in the middle of all the junk, crying. Where are my presents? Santa's dead, Daisy. She screamed and both my parents came running in. What's wrong, baby? She killed Santa. What? But my dad wasn't done arguing. You have got some nerve getting upset with me for one night of fun when you know very well that Daisy is nothing like me. She's become so rude, annoying, and destructive. Those aren't my genes. She got that from her real father. Harold, now is not the time. Yes, it is. I am tired of these double standards. It's about time the girls knew the truth. Huh, Dad? Your mom had an affair a few years ago. Daisy isn't my kid. Yes, she is, Harold. I took a paternity test. She isn't. Look, this obviously isn't working out. I think we should get a divorce. I'll keep my kid, and you can keep yours. Three months later, my life had changed drastically. I moved away with my dad and his new girlfriend, Lexi. She was so stupid and annoying, but at least I was the center of attention now. Because my dad felt so guilty about everything that happened, he started to shower me with gifts and I got everything I asked for. Daisy, on the other hand, was having a really hard time with my mom. She was so angry about everything that she never snapped back to her usual self. So while trying to get all the attention, I ended up ruining my parents' marriage and destroying my sister's life. Was it worth it though? I think so. <laughs>